archaeological finds that you would never have been told about in school. The mystery of the bronze hand, why people in ancient times stored butter in a swamp, what secret these bronze rings hide, a real manuscript about the childhood of Jesus, unique finds in Britain and much more. Watch this video until the end. Hi friend, you are on the Kurtop channel. Mysterious Hand this metal hand was found in 2021 at an Iron Age site near the ruins of Irulegui Castle in northern Spain. Its age is about 2,100 years. The artifact contains an inscription in the extinct Vexonian language, which is considered the ancestor of the modern Basque language. The researchers were able to decipher the first word Sarayaniki, which resembles the Basque Zoraniko, and translates as luck. The remaining five words remain a mystery for now. Scientists believe that the bronze hand was used as an amulet to bring good luck, and it could have been hung at the entrance to the home. This find is unique in that it is the oldest written monument of the Vaxan language from which Basque later developed. It greatly expands our understanding of these ancient languages and cultures. Butter in the Swamps Wetlands often become a treasure trove for archaeologists due to their conservation properties. The humic acid in peat bogs creates a pH level similar to vinegar, allowing items to be preserved for hundreds or even thousands of years. The Irish and Scottish marshes are especially famous, where butter is often found. To date, about 500 similar finds have been recorded, dating back to the 17th century. Similar finds are also found in Norway, the Netherlands, and Germany. Butter is usually found in wooden barrels, buckets, baskets and cups. Sometimes it is wrapped in birch bark and cloth, but a third of the finds have no packaging. The weight of the finds varies from 150 grams to 50 kilograms. The oldest Irish find dates back to 1745-1635 BC, and the Scottish ones date back to the 3rd, 2nd centuries BC. The reasons for storing butter in swamps are varied. One version is long-term storage. Archaeologist Daniel K. Fisher found that meat stored in peat box retained its freezer-like properties. Butter could also be used as currency for exchange, taxes, or rent. Another reason could be fermentation to improve taste. Nordic Food Lab experiments showed that butter stored in peat acquired unique flavors and remained edible after a year and a half. Ancient Roman Safe Chest in 1994, in central Spain, next to the ancient Roman temple of Mithra, archaeologists found the ruins of the Villa Castle del Mitreo. Built at the end of the 1st century, it was rebuilt several times before a major fire in the 4th century. Particular attention was drawn to large wooden chests bound with copper and iron plates. In ancient Rome, such chests served as safes for storing valuables. The chest measures about 3 by 1.5 meters, making it the largest such find. Due to the poor condition of the chest, which was damaged in the fire, archaeologists did not dare to remove it in 1994 for fear of destruction. The chest was left in place, awaiting better times and technologies to preserve it. This is a common practice in archaeology when the safety of an artifact cannot be guaranteed. In 2017, thanks to new technologies, the chest was removed and delivered to the Institute of Cultural Heritage of Spain. Here it was stabilized and preserved. There is no information about the contents of the chest. Most likely, the owner saved valuable things before the destruction of the villa. Carved Stone Balls a Neolithic settlement in Scotland was the site of a unique find. Hundreds of perfectly polished stone balls decorated with spirals in concentric circles. These artifacts dating back to the 4th 3rd millennium BC amazed with the high scale of stone processing. The balls are made from a variety of rocks, from brittle sandstone to durable granite, and demonstrate a care that is clearly not intended for utilitarian purposes. One theory suggests that the balls could have been slain projectiles, but this is unlikely due to the amount of work put in their creation. Another hypothesis is their use as weights for scales, but the variety of shapes and ornaments cast doubt on this theory. Some researchers are inclined to believe that the balls had ritual significance, the ornaments could be symbolic, and the balls themselves were used in religious rituals. However, there is not yet sufficient evidence in favor of this theory, and the stone balls of Scotland remain one of the most intriguing mysteries of the European Neolithic. These enigmatic artifacts continue to generate interest and controversy among archaeologists highlighting the richness and complexity of Neolithic culture. One of the oldest books 
The Crosby Shane Codex, a rare manuscript that revolutionized the study of Christianity, was sold on June 11, 2024 at Christie's in London for nearly $4 million. Created in mid-4th century Egypt, this codex contains biblical and other early Christian texts, making it unique for the study of Christian history. The codex was found along with more than 20 other manuscripts near Deshna, Egypt, in 1952. These documents are known as the Bodmer Papyri, named after the Swiss collector Martin Bodmer. The codex includes five early Christian texts in Coptic, including the earliest known texts of the Book of Jonah and 1 Peter. These texts are important for understanding early Christian literature and culture. The codex represents an early example of the transition from scroll to book. The codex consists of 104 pages of papyrus that were previously sewn together but are now behind protective plexiglass. This transitional period is important for the history of writing and books, as it indicates the evolution of writing technologies. The codex was rewritten by the same scribe, probably an Egyptian monk, in the 3rd century AD. He used freshly cut reeds as a father. The preservation of the codex is explained by the dry climate of Egypt, which allowed it to survive more than 1,700 years. The Mayan Sacrificed Boys Chichen Itza in Mexico is a popular tourist attraction, attracting approximately 2 million tourists annually. However, this ruined city hides a terrible secret. About 1,000 years ago, the Mayans committed ritual murders of children here. Radiocarbon dating of the remains by the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology showed that the victims were boys between the ages of 3 and 6, often twins. They were brutally killed with knives, spears and axes, and the remains were thrown into the Chalton, underground chamber which were considered the entrance to the world of the dead. The Mayans believed that the blood of sacrifices was a powerful source of nourishment for the gods, asking for rain and fertile fields in return. In Chichen Itza, stone slabs serpently, with images of the skulls of the dead, have been preserved. In 1967, the remains of more than 100 children were found in a chalton near the sacred senate. Genetic analysis of 64 remains showed that they were all boys, including two pairs of monozygotic twins. 25% of the children were close relatives and had the same diet, which suggests that victims were deliberately selected from the same family. Twins played a special role in Mayan mythology, and the sacrifice of twins was a central theme of the holy book of the Popol Vuh. The blood rituals continued for more than 500 years, from 600 to 1180, leaving behind a terrible legacy in the history of Chichen Itza. Ruins of a Minoan Structure during the construction of a new airport in Crete, archaeologists discovered a unique round structure with a diameter of about 48 meters, about 4,000 years old. The Greek Ministry of Culture called the discovery extremely interesting. The building with an area of 1,800 square meters refers to the Bronze Age Minoan civilization, which existed on Crete from 3000 to 1450 BC. The Minoans were a highly advanced society known for their maritime trade and art. Experts believe that the building was used mainly in 2000-1700 BC, when the first palaces were built on Crete such as Knossos and Fast. The exact purpose of this structure is unknown, but the animal bones found indicate the possibility of ritual ceremonies, including sacrifices. The interior space was divided into several holes and surrounded by eight stepped stone walls 1.7 meters high. The dimensions and complex layout indicate the social significance of the building, which required significant labor and special knowledge. Mysterious stumps on the seashore The purpose of the mysterious Bronze Age structure known as Seahenge has long puzzled archaeologists since its discovery in 1999 on a beach in Norfolk, England. However, recently scientists seem to have unraveled its mystery. Seahenge, or Hill 1, is an upturned oak stump surrounded by 55 split trunks. It was built in the late spring of 2049 BC on a salt marsh protected by dunes and mudflats. Amateur archaeologist John Lorimer discovered a site when he spotted a bronze axe head in the sand. He started digging and found a tree stump with a ritual ring around it. This discovery caused strong protests from local residents, but archaeologists took Hill 1 to the Lynn Museum, where parts of it were protected with wax. Hill 2, found nearby and left in place, was almost completely destroyed by the tides. Archaeologists suggest that these structures were built to control the weather. In those days, the climate was harsh with frosty winters and late springs, which greatly affected agriculture. The sea henge logs were cut in the spring and positioned to coincide with sunrise on the summer solstice. This is due to their belief that the cuckoo, symbolizing fertility, returns to the other world, and with it summer goes away. The ritual with the cuckoo was to 
supposed to catch it in order to prolong the summer. In the center of Hill 2, sacrifices were made to Venus, which was believed to help agriculture. These rituals were performed every eight years according to the cycle of Venus. Thus, both monuments sought in different ways to put an end to the harsh cold. Brown Circlips during the Late Bronze Age, approximately between 1000 and 800 BC, miniature bronze rings of unusual shapes, often found in pairs, appeared across Europe. These artifacts, called retaining rings, are striking in their elegance and craftsmanship. They are decorated with the finest engraving, and some are even inlaid with gold. The name circlips comes from their unique shape, which is different from regular rings. The main question that concerns researchers is what was their purpose. There are several versions, but none of them is indisputable. Some speculate that these rings could have been earrings or clothing buckles. However, given their diminutive size and sophistication, these theories are questionable. Perhaps the retaining rings were worn on the hair or used as amulets. They could serve as symbols of social status or membership in a particular group. Fine engravings and gold inlay indicate that these objects were important to their owners, perhaps emphasizing their high social status or special role in society. These bronze rings remain one of the mysteries of the Late Bronze Age, continuing to attract the attention of archaeologists and historians. They reflect the high level of skill and artistic taste of the ancient masters, as well as the complexity and diversity of the culture of that era. Manuscript about the childhood of Jesus Scientists have discovered and deciphered an ancient papyrus containing rare records of the youth of Jesus Christ. The papyrus, which was found in the Hamburg State at the University Library, went unnoticed until recently. Experts stumble upon it by chance while analyzing manuscripts. What caught their attention was the name Jesus in the text, written in sloppy handwriting, indicating that the author may have been a student of a school or religious community in 4th or 5th century Egypt. The papyrus fragment measuring 10 by 5 centimeters contains 13 lines describing the story of how five-year-old Jesus turns clay sparrows into living birds. This text is part of the Gospel of Thomas, an apocryphal scripture that tells the story of Jesus' life from age 5 to age 12. In one episode, Jesus plays by a stream and makes 12 sparrows from clay. His father, Joseph, notices this and scolds his son for working on the Sabbath, the holy day of rest. In response, Jesus commands the clay figurines to fly and they come to life. Deciphering the text was a difficult task. Researchers, by comparing the letters with other digitalized papyri, were able to gradually decipher the writing. The Gospel of Thomas was not included in the canonical Bible because it was not considered authentic. Traditional accounts of Jesus' life are limited to his birth, fly to Egypt, return to Nazareth, and visited the Jerusalem temple. The reason for excluding the early life of Jesus from the Bible remains unclear. This find is significant for modern understanding of Christianity, and it provides rare evidence of the early life of Jesus and his early followers. Guardian of the Great Wall of China during the restoration of the Zhangke section of the Great Wall of China, archaeologists made an amazing discovery. In one of the ancient defensive towers, they discovered a dragon statue. This section of the wall, built during the Ming Dynasty in the 1500s and early 1600s, stretched for 20 kilometers across a mountainous landscape and remains virtually untouched. Archaeologists from the Beijing Institute stumble upon the dragon by first discovering its carved scales. After removing layers of soil, they revealed the tail, claws, and finally the head of the skull. Sculpture. Lead archaeologist Shang Heng noted the exquisite details, suggesting that the dragon adorned the roof of the tower. In addition to the dragon, the researchers found a European cannon brought to China during the Jiajin period. This demonstrates the cultural and military exchange between Europe and China at that time. These finds highlight the rich history of the Ming Dynasty, demonstrating the architectural mastery and strategic importance of the Great Wall of China. The wall remains a symbol of China's historical resilience and ingenuity, confirmed by new archaeological discoveries. Ultra rare discovery. A rare Macedon tusk was found in Florida, which became a real sensation. 29 year old Alex Lundberg, while diving with his friend near Venice Beach, came across this unique artifact. Typically, only prehistoric shark teeth and fragments of mammoth tusk are found in this area, which makes Lundberg's find especially valuable. Experts from the Bishop Brandenton Museum of Science and Nature confirmed the authenticity of the tusk, labeling it as ultra rare. Lundberg has yet to notify the Florida Museum of Natural History to assess the scientific significance 
significant of the find. Mastodon tusks are typically only a few inches long and sell for $20 to $350. However, Lundberg's find could be worth about $5,000. Interestingly, the tusks did not fall apart when lifted from the seabed. Mastodons, which lived 5.5 million years ago and became extinct about 10,000 years ago, were relatives of modern elephants. Their fossils are usually found in Pliocene and Pleistocene sediments. Interestingly, Mastodon fossils, including tusks, bones, and skulls, are typically found in only four U.S. states – Indiana, Colorado, California, and New York. The Florida find therefore represents a rare and significant discovery. Chalk drums Archaeologists exploring Neolithic burials in England discovered objects resembling small drums. These artifacts carved from chalk are decorated with complex geometric patterns, such as spirals, zigzags, and concentric circles. Despite their similarity to drums, it is impossible to use them for their intended purpose. Chalk is too fragile a material, and the objects do not show signs of wear, characteristic of musical instruments. The question arises, what is their true purpose? One version is that these items could have been children's toys. Other the researchers believe that these are called objects used in funeral rituals. Both of these options explain the presence of artifacts in the burials. Of particular interest is the theory that the patterns on these drums may represent an early form of writing, proto-writing. Perhaps ancient people were trying to record some important information using these patterns. However, despite the efforts of researchers, these mysterious symbols have not yet been deciphered. These unique artifacts continue to attract the attention of scientists, offering a glimpse into the past and an attempt to understand the thoughts and customs of our ancestors. The mystery of the Cretaceous drums remains one of the most intriguing mysteries of the Neolithic, highlighting the richness and complexity of the culture of the era. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to watch my previous videos in which I talk about the secrets of ancient Egypt that influenced our future. Thanks for your views, bye everyone!